and welcome to the Idea Space Podcast, a place for women who want to create the life they've been dreaming of. This is where women come to learn how to get their ideas out of their head and into the world. Whether you've wanted to create a better relationship, job, business, hobby, or a better self, I bet there's something more that you want, and it's time you were able to get it without feeling overwhelmed, alone, or confused. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a high school teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women bring their ideas to life and get what they want without feeling guilty, selfish, or confused. If you're tired of your dream living inside your brain and are ready to have what you want, you're in the right place. And I promise you can have it and you can stay sane while doing it. Let's go. Welcome back to the Idea Space. I'm Jen Liddy, your host. And this month I'm talking about all things new beginnings because it's May. And here in Syracuse, New York, May is a really beautiful month. It's the time when things are actually blooming. I know spring started way back in March, but here in Syracuse, March and April are still really pretty awful weather months. May is the month where things start blooming. And to me, it feels like new beginnings. And so that's what I'm talking about this month. And it got me thinking about the new beginnings of remember back in the day when you learned how to drive. Remember how annoying you were, how you bugged every adult to take you someplace and let you practice. And you wanted so badly to drive that you didn't care who you annoyed. You just wanted to get behind the wheel. You took every opportunity to get in the car and drive somebody somewhere. Or remember doing those errands that your mom hated? You'd like become her personal hero and make her happy she finally decided to have kids because you're now 16 years later, you're doing the things that she doesn't want to do. It didn't matter where you had to go, how close, how far, how stupid, how annoying of an errand, you would do all that shit. And remember how much effort it took to get somewhere? All the mental effort? How slow you were to make decisions because there was so much deliberation to do? I remember my mom used to say to me, no, 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 you can't drive this time because we're in a hurry. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? I'm going to get us there fast. Don't worry. I never understood what she meant. I was going as fast as I could, but I realized later how much processing there really was going on in my head. You know, remember like you'd come to a four-way stop sign and you'd really have to like mentally flip through that book. Oh my God. They probably don't even have books anymore. It's probably all online now, right? Anyway, you'd like flip through the book and try to remember the rules and apply them correctly. Or or you'd have to like sweat out merging into traffic for the first time. Remember how hard that was? Or doing a K turn, a three point turn or parallel parking. Oh my God, parallel parking. Do you remember how much work all that was? It was both exhausting and exhilarating because you were learning and you were excited Every movement required great presence on your part when you were behind the wheel. Now, come back to the present. I ask you, when was the last time you drove to work or home or school and pulled into your parking spot not knowing how you got there, not remembering much of the drive? Have you ever done that? I have. And it's when I it's it's because I'm on autopilot. We don't even think about driving anymore. We get in the car and we go. We get annoyed if we have to wait for the car to defrost or warm up. We get annoyed if someone in front of us takes a moment too long to make a decision at the stop sign or if the light turns green and they're not moving. It takes having a brand new driver in your midst to remind you how much work learning to drive really is. To notice how they have to slow down to really think about what the hell they're doing. I mean, it's high stakes. I'm glad they slow down. I notice that sometimes I need to slow down. Sometimes when I'm talking to somebody new to business, she'll wax on about how she's going to help all the people, how she doesn't want to pick a target market because she doesn't want to limit herself. She's essentially a new driver in the entrepreneurial space. And I go into slow down mode because I remember what it feels like to be there. I remember what it's like when you first have the dream to start a business, the stars in your eyes, the insistence that you're going to do it differently than anyone else, and the assuredness that you'll never really learn how to do this well. I was there, and I know that it's not my job to honk my horn and make her move faster. She'll learn how to grow her business in a way that works for her. 
If she asks for help, I'm happy to give it. But some people really just need to learn on their own the hard way. That's the way I did. These conversations with women who are starting their businesses, they remind me that I'm not a newbie anymore. I run a successful business that gives me lots of energy and free time. Those are my core values. That's what I want out of my business, energy and free time. That's what's most important to me. And I designed a life where I get to live them every day. In other words, I can get in the car and drive it. I have to be aware while I'm doing it because I want to grow. But it also means that I know where I'm going when I get in the car with a newbie at the wheel. I can help her navigate. And that's powerful to realize when we get to a place where we're a a seasoned driver, that's really powerful. You know, I recently gave a workshop to a group of women who are at that license getting stage of building their business. I loved hearing their ideas, their frustrations, and I was honored to hear how open they were to learning from my experiences because being open to a seasoned driver will help them move more swiftly into what they're dreaming of. The thing is, they have to ask for help. They have to know that there's stuff they don't know. And I did not do this at all very well when I was a new driver in the entrepreneurial space. My best friend and my former business partner, Leslie, we always talk about our hubris, how we just believed so hard that we were going to do it differently and screw everyone else with experience. We don't want your damn help is what we basically said until we were drowning and then it was too late. We'd waited too long to find help. We didn't want to be learners. We wanted to be drivers. It's so hard to slow down and be a learner again. As adults, we all want to be seasoned drivers, but sometimes when we want something more or something different, we've got to slow down to learn. Where are you a seasoned driver in your life? What do you do that feels like breathing now? And take a moment to think back and remember yourself as a newbie in that realm. Personally, I think back to my first years as a high school teacher. Now I teach and it's like breathing to me. But when I first started, oh, there was so much effort. And then when I, you know, was a, a new college professor and a and a new mom or a newly married woman, I, I it was all terrifying. And certainly becoming a new business owner is terrifying. If there's an area of your life where you're terrified, I'm here to remind you that it's okay to be terrified. Of course, it's scary. You've never done this before. What it's not okay to be is stagnant. Stagnation and paralysis, they're your enemies. They'll keep you from success. The other enemy of success is if in that area of your life, you're constantly driving on autopilot, not noticing what's going on, and it's not filling you up anymore, then it's time to take note of what needs to change. So let's go back to my little car analogy. On those rare occasions where you've gotten home without knowing how, isn't it jarring when you notice it? You're like, holy shit, I don't want to do that again. That's scary. I, I'm asking, are you on autopilot? It's possible to be on autopilot in one area of your life and a new driver in another area. So here are a few takeaways. One, if you're a new driver, be patient and kind with yourself, whatever area of your life it's in. Do what you need to do to get up to speed and remember you might need help with it. Two, for those of us on autopilot realizing we need some awake time, check in with yourself. What do you really want? Your brain and your soul already know. Just listen, and you might need help with that. And if you're feeling filled up in all the areas of your life, give some thanks to yourself and show yourself some love. And also, please bottle up what you've got and sell some of it to me, because how'd you do that? Bottom line, you're both a new driver and an autopilot, depending on your goals, where you are in the cycle of your life, and what you want. That's the nature of your life, unless you're standing still. And if you're someone who likes to stand still, I'm pretty sure that my podcast is not for you. So if you're listening, you're a person who doesn't like to stand still. For real though, it's May. It's beautiful. It's the perfect month to go out and try something new and bloom. You just have to give yourself the space and the love to do it. Thanks for listening all the way through. I look forward to connecting with you 
Follow me on the socials. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm at Jen Liddy Coach. I'm a one N Jen. So it's J-E-N Liddy, L-I-D-D-Y Coach. And connect with me there. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your questions. And if you have topics for future podcasts that you'd like me to cover, shoot them my way, either through a DM on Instagram or a PM on Facebook. Go out and enjoy your May, okay? And tell me how you're doing it. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app. Or tell that friend of yours who'd really love to bring her idea to life about it. If you'd be so kind to leave a review, then together we can help more women with the desire to create the life she wants find this podcast. Isn't it time we got our ideas out of our head and into the world? Remember, you can grab my free resource, Bring Your Idea to Life in Three Easy Steps, even if you don't have the time, by visiting me over at jenliddy.com forward slash time. I'll see you next time. And remember, all you need to do is take the very next step you know how to. Bye. Thank you.